Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title of today's video, we are going to be going over shoe trends for fall 2021. And it's kind of shoe trends for fall, winter 2021, 22 as well. Because a lot of the places that I draw inspiration for these videos and end up doing my research on, group those two together like a fall winter fashion show or trend roundup or something like that. So this is more fall focused because we're just dipping into fall, but these will definitely carry over into winter as well. So hopefully, that is helpful and in these videos I draw inspiration from things that I'm loving things that I'm personally drawn to I look into what the runways are doing I also look into just street style I checked in with my friend who lives in Spain because I feel like Spain has such good style and I was like what are the shoes like what's happening and just little things like that social media everywhere obviously there is publications and things like things like that as well. I also watch other YouTubers and their videos and draw inspiration from them. So it's just a bunch of those things and these are the shoe trends that personally speak to me. Take them or leave them as you see fit for yourself. And I'm also going to be showing you how I would style each trend with one outfit, but the possibilities for are endless for how you can style them throughout the fall and winter. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, it means so much when you do so. If you give this video a thumbs up, it also means so much to me. And I love chatting with you guys in the comments. So feel free to share your thoughts, video requests, anything like that down below as well. Okay, before we get started with the shoe trends, I do have a sponsor for today's video. So I have been wearing Miss Oma's jewelry for years. It is literally one of my favorite brands. I wear them every single day. They are my go-to jewelry brand. I layer their necklaces with everything. They go with every single outfit. They're such good quality. I wear them in the water. I've had them for years. They're honestly just the best. And you guys can get 15% off if you sign up in from the link in the description box. They don't really have sales very often, so this is a really good time to take advantage. And I'm going to be showing you guys some pieces from the core collection today, which is just some of their like standard pieces that are super classic. They can be paired with so many different looks and styled in so many different ways. So I love these pieces. I honestly can't tell you how good Miss Oma is if you haven't tried it I promise you will love it and everything that I'm wearing in these looks jewelry rise today will be Miss Oma and you can shop all of the pieces in the description box of course so here are the shoe trends I did 16 of them I threw in a couple at the end that you guys were asking for on Instagram that are just really simple and basic they're not necessarily as much of a trend as they are a staple for me but I wanted to include them because you guys were asking so these are in no particular order I'm going to try to keep it as concise as I can. So obviously boots are huge for fall and winter and the first shoe trend that we're going to talk about is the Chelsea boot or like the lug sole. Just these like chunky boots. So obviously the Chelsea boot is a classic and this whole category is kind of broad and it could fit a lot of different shoes. So the one that I am going to be sharing today is not really like a Chelsea boot. It's more leaning into just like the chunky lug sole boot. So kind of just an overarching Chelsea lug sole chunky boot category is what we're going for. And these ones are about knee high. They're super cute. They kind of give me like a rain boot feel. And I love wearing these with like a bare leg. I think it looks so good. But there's also really short uh, boots that are lug sole and chunky. And obviously Chelsea boots are typically shorter. So those can just be like really Really classic black leather boots that you wear with like denim or trousers or the Prada boots that were huge I think what was that like two years ago are still very in and those boots you know turned out to be a great investment because they're still very in they're really comfortable and I think that they're going to be stylish forever because they just seem kind of classic so anything that has these big like chunky cutouts is a lug sole I believe and it gives it just kind of like an industrial Kind of edgy feel to it which is really fun and I love dressing that with something that's also kind of masculine and edgy or you can do it with something that's really feminine and the contrast is really nice and for all of these shoes I will try to link the exact ones but if they're old or sold out or vintage I'll try to link something similar and a couple of options as well the next shoe trend is a sneaker because obviously I love sneakers if you're not new to my channel you already know that and we're going with just like a retro dad sneaker category. So for example, I have this New Balance pair of sneakers here. These are the 990, I believe. And I literally see dads wearing these all the time. So it is quite literally a dad shoe and it's got just like a retro feel to it. It's super comfy. If it's a shoe that your dad or grandpa or something would wear, it's fitting into this category. So this also goes for the Balenciaga Triple S. Obviously those were like the ugly dad sneaker for so long. And 
And they got a lot of hate, but in my opinion, they're still in and I still love those. So again, like the Prada boot, that turned out to be a trend that wasn't just gonna fizzle out after one season and is still very much in. These are really fun and really easy to wear because they're obviously so comfortable. And I think it's great to style them with something that your dad would also wear just to like play into the trend and it looks really good together. Or again, you can pair these with something more feminine and I think that works really well too or do something really sporty just because it is a sneaker, it's athletic, and it looks really cute together. Next is loafers are huge this year, and I'm sure you guys have seen the Prada loafers everywhere. I feel like that is kind of something that's been circulating the internet all over Pinterest, and I actually have this pair of loafers that is just like a chunky patent loafer. They actually have gold hardware. The Prada is silver, and I had these last year. I actually loved them, and I'm really glad that they're back in season because I think they're so cute and also really comfortable. I love a little bit of height that these give, but without being like a heel. And these are fun to play into kind of their style as well. So last year I paired them with some preppy kind of schoolgirl feels and I still like that for styling these. I also think that these look great with like menswear, anything more masculine, just kind of playing into the whole vibe of the loafer. And again, if you want to pair these with something feminine, that looks really good as well. I love these styled with sneak, I mean with socks not sneakers kind of like chunky socks but, uh, blah 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 I love these styled with kind of like chunky socks push down or with tights so you can have fun with these in a bunch of different ways and they're actually really comfortable and then the next thing that was really big especially on the runways was these like fuzzy details and just fuzzy shoes in general so I think these I actually had from last year as well and these are a Chloe rain boot and they have a fuzzy little accent I also invested in some fuzzy slippers from Gucci last what was that last spring I guess and those fit the bill for this trend as well so there's a bunch of different ways that you can do it it can be in boots or slippers loafers anything like that I love this because I love a little bit of texture it feels really cozy it's obviously perfect for the season it looks really good next to something sleek like this but there's some that are just like full fuzzy as well which I think is really cool I saw some heels on the runway that were fuzzy and I think that this is just a fun trend and I really like it so it speaks to my personal style just loving the texture and everything and I paired these with this look that is kind of like reminds me of Paris because these boots actually really remind me of Paris for some reason I just imagine myself moving to Paris and walking in the rain in these little boots so these are really fun to style and obviously perfect for the season they make so much sense the next trend is slouchy boots I believe this was on Louis Vuitton on the runway amongst other designers and I didn't have something that was super slouchy so I, this is the only boot that I had that really kind of fit that bill and I actually had to like push it down a little bit to make it more slouchy but as as you can see it does have a little bit of that built-in slouch and I think that this is so fun it definitely gives me like an 80s 90s feel we love something that's a little bit retro and that we can have fun with obviously it doesn't have to be as loud as these boots the ones that I happen to have were animal prints so they're just a little loud but it's really fun so anything neutral or even like a pop of color and then these ones also have just like a tiny little kitten heel which I feel plays into that kind of like 80s 90s style and obviously with like a slouch boot like that I love pairing it again with like a bare leg I think a lot of these boots are styled with dresses and skirts here or even shorts because I just love the contrast of it on your skin with like a bare leg but of course you can pair these things with leggings or jeans or trousers as well something else that's huge and it's been huge for a couple of seasons is platform so for fall and winter the platform shoe that I chose to style was my Doc Martin Jadens this was something that was actually really requested on Instagram as well so I know a lot of people have these and wonder you know how you can style them these are such an easy boot to wear they are so comfortable at least in my opinion and they go with so many different looks they are kind of masculine and chunky so I actually decided to pair them with something that was like a little bit flowy and feminine because I like the contrast but I also threw on a faux leather jacket to kind of just like bring up that element of like edge and a little bit punk and I think that it's really fun but you can pair these with denim white t-shirts something that's floral there's so many things that you can wear doc martens with so love these and in general platforms are just huge so whether that be a heel or a boot like this a hiking boot is really cute and platform for fall as well and an over the knee boot or a knee high boot too so 
If you see platform, just know that it's in and it's really comfortable and will give you that height without having to wear a heel. What's so good about all of these shoe trends are most of them are things that are always in style for fall or have definitely been in style in the last couple of years for fall and winter. So you probably already have a lot of these things in your closet, which is great. And I just wanna mention that there's obviously so many ways to interpret each of these trends and so many different actual shoes that I could show you for each trend. But I don't want this video to be like 7 million hours long. So I'm just picking like one boot for each category, but it's much broader, obviously, probably could put that together. But next we're gonna talk about knee high boots. I'm a huge boot fan. I love them in any season and they're perfect for fall. So I have this pair that I've had for a couple of years and they hit right at the knee. So again, I love wearing these with something that shows the leg because I think it looks so good together, but you could throw these over leggings or denim or trousers, of course, but I just really love the way it looks with skirts and dresses. So I feel like I end up wearing a lot of skirts and dresses in fall and winter because I like the way they look with boots. So for today's look, I styled this, of course, with something that showed a little bit of leg. And because these do have a pattern on them, they are a little bit more loud as well. So I just did something really plain and simple. And I feel like it just looks so like quintessential to fall. So I love throwing on a knee high boot for fall. We're just really kind of doing like the 411 on boots right now. So next is over the knee boots. And these are like an edgier boot. So these also have a platform and they're lace up, but they have a zipper. And they have just like a little bit of hardware and edge to them. And they feel very like punk. And I love that about them. I kind of wanted to play into that with these. So because I was doing so many skirts and dresses, I wanted to show you guys how you can style them with pants as well. So I paired these over some faux leather leggings that also have some hardware. They feel a little bit edgy and punkish to me as well. And then just a t-shirt, a flannel, a beanie, kind of just like a cozy but edgy fall look. So I think you can have a lot of fun with over the knee boots. You can style them in so many different ways, obviously something more edgy like this, or you can do something that's more sleek and sexy. And it's just a trend that I'm always gonna love for fall and winter. The next trend for boots is the Western boot. This was highly requested over on Instagram. And obviously this whole year, Western boots have been huge. So throughout the seasons, and I love that. I've styled Western boots in so many of my fashion videos over the past couple of months because it has been such a huge trend and I do tend to style these with shorts skirts and dresses just because I love the way they look showing some leg so if you guys want to see more outfits with that just honestly check back on the last couple of fashion videos that I've done on my channel and I'm sure you'll stumble upon an outfit that has these boots featured but I wanted to show you guys a different way since I've done that so much with skirts and dresses so I actually paired these under denim because I love that look as well and I feel like we tend to think of the western boot having to show all the way but they look really good with boot cut jeans and kind of just peeking through. It doesn't have to show the whole boot. I think it would look better if mine was a little bit more pointed. This one is a little more round and it's not as pronounced, but I still think that it looks good. It's a different way to style them in case you guys needed some more inspo. Personally, I like the Western boot styled with a bunch of varieties of styles. So it can be something chic and it can be something baggy. It can be something more businessy like a blazer. It can be with baseball caps or you can style it more Western with fringe or anything like that so honestly the western boot does so much more than probably we ever thought it could the next boot trend is like colorful boots was something that i saw a lot and i don't have colorful boots so i kind of opted for like a hall pass on this one and went with an animal print boot because i feel like it was still the same effect um sorry if you can see my burn just burn myself with the curly iron today but I feel like the animal print gives the same effect of having like a fun pop and just a moment on the boots. So I would love to get a pair of colorful boots. I'm just not sure what color yet and I haven't found a pair that I love. So in the meantime, we are putting an animal print boot in place of that. So I have these like Western wear inspired boots and they are cow print. And I wanted to show again how these can be very versatile. And I did just kind of like a plain comfy outfit and then popped these on, which is something that most people probably wouldn't think to put boots with. It is a little more out there, especially especially if you tend to dress a little more on the safe side, but I think that it's really fun. I think that it looks cute and I wanted to show you guys another kind of way to interpret like a fun shoe. So that's where we landed. 
Another boot trend that I saw a lot on the runways and I love is the skin tight boot. I think this was on Versace runway and I've had these pair, this pair for a couple of years. I love them. They are over the knee and skin tight is very sexy and it obviously just gives that more like tailored fitted look just like clothes it seems just kind of more form fitting and sexy so I think the skin tight boots look really good with something that's oversized like an oversized sweatshirt or sweater or dress just because they are so tight and sexy it kind of like balances the outfit out but you can also pair them with something that shows some skin or is tighter and I think it just adds even more to the look it's just whatever you're feeling whatever you're comfortable with so I kind of did a mix for today's look and I did a tighter dress that has some like mm, like lace up detail on it and then I just threw on this kind of like fuzzy shawl cardigan thing that is really comfy and a little more oversized feeling to it and I feel like it created the perfect balance for my style and it felt very fall as well the last boot trend that I'm gonna talk about is just booties in general because I felt like I talked so much about like taller boots so I just wanted to give a shout out to booties because obviously they are still a classic and they're a staple for fall this pair i've had forever and they're kind of just like a sock booty super sleek and simple black heel black shoe and i paired them with one of my favorite pair of faux leather pants and just a like black ribbed top it feels like a very quintessential simple fall look and booties are such a perfect thing to pair with looks like this during fall just because when you're wearing pants or something and it's going over the shoe it's a little bit easier to style a booty obviously than a taller boot and I get so much wear out of booties every single year so I just had to give a shout out to them and and there's so many different kind of booties. They could be pointed toe like that. They could have a heel. They could be flatter. They could be Chelsea. They could be Western, but just booties in general. Don't forget about them. The next trend that you guys wanted to see from Instagram was kitten heels. So as I've mentioned, I'm not much of a heel girl. I love a kitten heel because they're obviously so much more comfortable just because they are really low. And I've had this pair for years. They are very loved in my closet. They're so easy to style. They're very simple and sleek. I like a little bit of strappiness. I tend to wear these actually a little bit more in the fall and winter. Even though they're an open-toed sandal, they just seem a little more fitting with fall outfits for me. So I paired these today with a faux leather trouser and a button-up, kind of just like a casual, a little bit work-inspired look, but not because I'm wearing a crop top. I think that the kitten heel is really nice. It seems more sophisticated and professional. It's not as sexy or loud but it still looks really good it's very flattering and it's very fashionable and then I just want to do a couple of classic shoes for you guys as I mentioned so the first is Converse I love my platform Converse I have a whole video on styling them that you guys can check out if you need inspo and I actually started wearing those because when I went to Spain I saw all the girls wearing them so that's why I checked in with my friend who lives there and I just get so much wear out of these so here is a fall version of how to style them I love them with denim I love them with skirts dresses I think they look super flattering on the leg and they're obviously really comfortable and again they give you a little bit of that height so for today's look I just pair them with something that's like very simple quintessential fall with a little flannel and some really nice kind of like beige jeans with a little rip in them and they're just they're just the best they're always sold out so I'll try to link them if they're available anywhere but if you ever see them in stock you should snag them because they're the best. The other kind of shoe that my friend was saying everyone was wearing in Spain and also you guys requested a lot was just like sneakers, Jordans, Dunks, anything like that. So I wanted to style this pair for you guys today and I mentioned in previous videos that I haven't been a huge fan of red over the past couple of years but I'm getting back into it just this year. I just love Jordans. I love sneakers and I feel like they make any outfit look better. So for today's outfit I just paired these with some chocolate cargo inspired workwear pants and then a red tube top to tie in a little bit of the red and then just a zip up hoodie. So something super casual and simple and you you can honestly wear Jordans or Dunks or sneakers with kind of any style and I personally feel like it's gonna make the look 
better just because they look so good themselves so if you are a lover of sneakers you'll feel the same way and this pair was very expensive and there is expensive pairs because of resale and everything but you can also get pairs that aren't as expensive they might not be the exact style or color that you had in mind but they have tons of other ones that aren't as overpriced so I know that that can be like very deterring for a lot of people but there's definitely ones that you don't have to spend as much money on so love these I think they're so comfortable and I just I'm spending my life and my money on sneakers because I personally love them. Also, I just had to throw in my Air Force Ones because we all know that they're my ride or die shoe. I think we all love them and they're just super comfortable, easy to style. I wear them every single season. So I just threw them on with this outfit that I'm wearing in the talking portion for today's video because it's just like a simple, basic, easy, classic fall style and that is perfect for the Air Force Ones, but obviously you can wear those with every style as well. They're just super comfortable. They look good with everything and they're not a trend necessarily for fall but they get worn so much in my looks so they deserve a spot in this video so i hope you guys enjoyed that these are all the shoe trends that i've rounded up for this video and this was actually a request from my fall trends video so if you guys have any other requests i write them all down and i try to get to them all as much as possible and i hope that you enjoyed this so thank you for watching as always and i'll see you next time